Hey, have you ever wanted to turn off a feature called Soft Delete in Microsoft Azure? Well, let's just explain what it is very quickly and then where it is and why it's on and then we'll show you how to turn it off. So Soft Delete is a feature that allows things like backups to not actually be deleted. So let me just show you what I mean. Let's go into DC1. This is a machine that I've had for a while and uh, I'm gonna click on Backup. And you'll notice up here, there it is, the restore points for this backup item have been retained in a soft delete state. They were deleted seven days ago, blah, 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 blah. And you think, okay, but in my case, for instance, this is a lab. I just want this stuff gone. I do not want to be paying for backups. Now, take note, if I click on this and I go through and I look at that particular backup again, it's going to extend this time period again. So you want to be careful doing that. And you might ask yourself, why would Microsoft ever not have delete be delete? Why would they have sort of a recycle bin? Well, it's to protect you from malicious actors. For a lot of people, it's a really good idea to leave it in soft delete. Sure, you pay more and it burns off a bit of capacity, but if it saves your company down the road, it's probably a good idea. In my case, it's not a good idea. I, when I delete something, I want it gone, or at least I want to be able to then immediately flush it from the recycle bin. So let's show you how to do that. So the easiest thing to do is go to the top and just do a search for all resources. And in here, you'll find a vault. And there is mine, Recovery Services Vault. You could have also just typed in Recovery Services Vaults, but this is how I get to it. So click on the vault in question, then move to Properties, and then they've buried it under Security Settings. And here is where you turn soft and hard deletes on. So I want to disable soft deletes. And it says, hey, this will happen for anything in the future, but won't do anything for the ones that are currently in there. And if you click this link, what it's going to tell you is, well, we'll bring it up. But what it's going to tell you is the only way to actually change an existing soft delete into a hard delete is to go into your vault, undelete the files, and then redelete them after you've turned off the soft delete option. So yeah, it's a pain. So you, you're just not gonna do that. Okay, so I'm going to click save here and it's updated it, that's happy. And now when I go down to backup items, I can see I've got three VMs and I can't get rid of these things. And now if I click on any of these and go into them, it will extend their backup, which is why these machines have been here more than the, the original 13 or 14 days that they stay in the backup because I've gone into them and looked at them. But from now on, when I delete something from the vault, it's just gonna get flushed. Bad idea for a lot of people in production, great idea for labs. Hey, we'd really appreciate it if you would click like on this video, it really helps with the algorithm. Subscribe's always appreciated. If you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment section below, we'll get back to you or somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech, that's www.urtech.ca. Thanks, have a great day, bye bye.